Zimbabwe dollar to USD. Why I don't recommend Zim dollar. Hi everybody, it's Nick G again with GlobalCurrencyResa.net. I'm doing this video right now for the article that I've just posted on the website. The link is right up here, GlobalCurrencyResa.net. Zimbabwe dollar to USD, you can see it up here. Another easy way to get to the link is when you're on the home page, you guys have probably noticed what I've done is I've made this so that I can post a whole bunch of different articles and it trunicates the article, I mean it cuts them off right here. So what you would do is you actually just click up there and it'll bring you to the actual article we're talking about here. Another thing is we have an RSS feed. It's not easy to see from the home page because of the banner I've got. I wanted to create a banner that looked, you know, similar to uh, you know, what you guys would look for. You're thinking about global reset, so I have the dinar here, Vietnamese dong and Chinese yuan cuz let's face it, most people consider those to be currencies that may revalue um, a lot higher than they currently are. Once again, here's all the links, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and then here's the RSS feed. If you click this, it'll give you a nice little um, page here. This doesn't appear well if you're using Google Chrome, but if you're using Firefox like I am, then you can see all the different articles I've posted and it actually shows the dates that I've posted them. That way anybody if you're visiting the site for the first time you can catch up on, on the, all the articles I wrote about Zimbabwe, Vietnamese Dong, Tony, um, Oki, Christine Lagarde actually mentioning the Global Reset. This is something you guys should definitely watch. This is probably one of the most important videos I've made. Definitely one of the most popular. But today we're gonna focus on the Zimbabwe dollar to USD. Why I don't recommend the Zim dollar. Now this video that you're watching now is going to be posted in the article here that way it's easy for you to send to people but I've noticed that a lot of people have been emailing me saying um, about the Zimbabwe dollar what do I think it's going to revalue at and I, I have to let you guys know that there is not going to be a revaluation for the Zimbabwe dollar and the reason is because they are no longer using it um, I, I think I posted a link on here to um, Let's see if it's on here. Yes, I did. I posted the link to Wikipedia. Um, it goes about hyperinflation in Zimbabwe. And if you read this right here, you can see what it says here. Zimbabwe abandoned its currency. And as of 2014, Zimbabwe has no national currency. Currencies from other countries are used. I probably mentioned this in a previous video. But um, a lot of you folks are wondering, mainly which currency do I need to be invested in before the global reset happens? Uh, the dinar is a good choice, of course, because we obviously know that the country is definitely war-torn. They have a great deal of resources. They have gold. They have diamonds. They have oil. They have a lot of minerals. And they're, they're rebuilding their infrastructure at this time. But they really don't have a good infrastructure and they don't have a good currency. I mean, their currency is essentially has been hyperinflated just like Zimbabwe has. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to some of the links that I have related to the dinar. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you different rates. So right here we have the Vietnamese dong to the U.S. dollar. And you can see all these zeros. Now, I posted a previous video where it, was, where it actually had lobbed off the four zeros but it looks like they had fixed it so this is what the current rate is and you see there's the four zeros um, let's go ahead and go to the other one I have let's go ahead and go to the Iraqi dinar the Iraqi dinar has three extra zeros in its currency Zimbabwe dollar and and I know this is what it's showing but I want you guys to understand something it says read important information about the ZWD you can follow the link right here Let's click this and read what it says. Notice, the Zimbabwe dollar has been suspended indefinitely. Okay. Okay, I want you guys to read this real quick before we continue. You can pause the video so you can read this. Okay, now that you've read that, and let's go ahead and go to something on Google. I want you guys to, you guys can follow along with me. I'm actually doing research live so that you guys can see how I get my information. And we're going to search for Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Okay, so here we are now at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's website. Okay, um, 
you guys can find out a lot of information about their reserves, what they have. They really don't have anything. Um, what I recommend you check out is, let's see, we have press statements, public notices. Let's go ahead and go into, let's see if there's anything in press statements at this time. This is great for a lot of folks who've never been to this website. Okay, see, there's no more statements past 2009 because that was the last time the bank actually did anything useful. I mean, that was the last time they had currency. In fact, let's just go and open and see what comes up. Yep, so the, so the, so the, the latest one is June 8th, 2009. And if you remember, they abandoned their currency in April from what we were reading earlier. Okay, well, let's see what we have right here. Let's check public notices. Same thing on public notices. We're not really finding anything. Let's check publications. What do we have here? Ah, monthly review. Let's go and click monthly review. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We can. We have the monthly review for 2014. Let's go ahead and see what the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is saying for the month of February. Okay. All right. Not a whole lot of information here. Ah, here we go. Here's an important statement right here. Okay, I'm going to read this to you slowly. The main sources of liquidity under the multi-currency system, remember we were reading earlier about how they're using different currencies, are exports, external lines of credit and diaspora remittances, given that the central bank cannot, cannot inject liquidity into the economy. For those of you living in the United States, you're familiar with quantitative easing and how the Federal Reserve, which is our, our basically the money printers, uh, they're injecting liquidity by quantitative easing and if you're not familiar with quantitative easing you can just search for it you can search for QE QE1 QE2 QE3 and it's a way of increasing um, just increasing the money supply well with the Bank of Zimbabwe the Federal the Reserve Bank the people are no longer using that currency um, there's an article that I'm, I'm just going to pause the video for a moment, but there's an article that I'm going to just show you some things where they're talking about the currencies that they are using in country. And the main reason I'm doing this video is for anybody who's invested in the Zimbabwe dollar. Let me just say flat out right now before you continue this video, go to eBay and sell all your Zimbabwe dollar because you're not going to be able to exchange it at a bank. I promise you. They're no longer using the currency in their own country, so why would it be worth anything outside of the country? If you remember back maybe when you were going to school and they were showing you pictures of a hyperinflation, let's see if I can bring that up. And first thing that probably comes to mind is wheelbarrows of money, just bunches of money, kids playing with bunches of money, a guy carrying bunches of money. This is this is what hyperinflation looks like. Now, there's been a lot of hyperinflations you know, just in the last 50 years or so. And, and I will provide some information on that in the future video about what countries have had hyperinflation. But I'm going to pause the video for a moment and come back with an official statement by the central, uh, well, I keep saying central bank, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. All right, so we're now back in the uh, document that I had typed out, Zimbabwe dollar to USD. Let's go ahead and just scroll down here and... Um, you're going to see where I wrote excerpt and I have an actual policy statement issued by the bank. Now if you want to find this original document, here's what you do. I'm using Firefox by the way. Just go ahead and highlight this whole thing and just right click and say search Google. And if you get one of those pesky things, just fill it in. Huh. Well, I'm not very good at this, I guess. There we go. Okay, once again, um, you can see it's RBZ, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. We're going to click this statement. I'm going to go and open this up. It's going to be a PDF, and we're going to look at this together. We're going to look at some important information, which I included in my article on the website. So let's go ahead and check this out. 
All right, guys. As you probably have noticed, it takes a it takes a long time for uh, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe's website to load. It's extremely slow. So what I'm probably going to do is just post this actual document in the article link so you guys can actually view it yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over a few things in this document just to maybe add some credence to what I've been saying about how Zimbabwe is no longer using their own currency. However, they are using multi-currencies. So let's go ahead and look at this document together briefly. Okay, the first thing we come across is on page 8 where it talks about the theme of this national I'm sorry the, the theme of this monetary policy statement is the restoration of the role of the central bank meaning the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe in efforts to enhance financial intermediation uh, what that's saying is the main goal is to reinstate the central bank in a nutshell they they want to have the, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe printing currency again they don't want to have all these multinational currencies. Page 9, part 12. Against the background of, well actually it says the role of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. And it says against the background of the limited role played by the Reserve Bank since the introduction of the multiple currency system. Uh, that's that's basically says it all right there. Essentially, they're saying, well, we don't really have much of a job now because you guys are, you know, since we're using different currencies in our country because our people don't trust us anymore. So the main purpose of this document is to try to convince the public that you can trust the bank, even though they've gone through, I've lost count of how many hyperinflations they've had, how many devaluations, it still hasn't worked. Okay, page 26, part 58. And you can just go ahead and see some of the advice that they're offering. And I thought this one was important. Gold mobilization. Okay, we're on page 49. And you, you can see it right up here. All right, we're looking at gold buying. And if you read what it says right here, it talks about uh, some of the issues that they're having right now. Oh, I just skipped ahead. I apologize. Here we are. Page 47, gold mobilization. It talks about how prior to 2006 and the major major devaluation happened in 2008 so this was before the devaluation it talked about how much they were actually producing and it mentions the LBMA London Bullion Marketers Association and you have to have at least 10 tons of gold annually to participate uh, and what happened is it started to fall below that in 2007 and so it says, as such, Zimbabwe could not maintain its position as a member of the LBMA. So thereby we have been exporting gold through South Africa for refining. So they need gold and they need it bad. And remember, the global currency reset is depending on, you know, each country has assets. And obviously with Zimbabwe, because their country doesn't have their own currency they don't really have a real economy in fact in this document it explains how one of the major problems in their economy is that they're just not producing enough briefly going back to page five we see where it talks about current challenges the country remains saddled with the following attendant challenges and on page six we're gonna go ahead and see what they have a severe and persistent liquidity crunch meaning not enough money so it's hard for uh, sectors to have credit you know most people if you have a business you need to go to the bank to have credit for your business and uh, they talk about they don't have competitiveness and it because production costs are extremely high and that just makes things worse hence the widening of the current account deficit and then infrastructure just like we were speaking of earlier with Iraq's infrastructure you now have a problem officially announced by the central I keep saying central bank. Well, it is their central bank. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe has officially announced that their infrastructure is a problem. Energy, transportation, communication, and, and you, if you read down here, what it's caused is widespread company closures, deterioration in the external sector position, and rising formal official unemployment. Okay, so obviously, folks, this is not a country you want to be investing in. If you do have, once again, as I said earlier, if you do have Zimbabwe dollars, 
it doesn't matter if you have a hundred trillion dollars or if you have five dollars or five hundred just please just get rid of them get rid of them sell them on ebay do it fast because when the global currency reset happens you're going to be standing around with these zimbabwe dollars expecting a whole bunch of money and you're not going to get anything maybe somebody will give you a dollar or two for them they're they're not worth anything here we are on page seven of the document where the central bank has shown a, a figure talking about the vicious liquidity cycle which you know we mentioned and it's just it's basically garbage in garbage out garbage in garbage out okay so you can study that if you want but essentially what it's saying is uh, we don't have we don't have a good corporate sector we don't have good earnings we have low earnings and high unemployment there's not a lot of liquidity meaning there's not a lot of cash available there's not a lot of credit available there's low deposits, so costs are just going up, up, up. There's no competitiveness because when you have high costs of products, you can't sell them cheap on the open market. That's why China's doing so well is because they can devalue their currency and keep it cheap. With Zimbabwe, they don't really have a currency. They don't really have an economy, and what they do produce is overly expensive. Page 54, Pyramid Schemes. Um, and they're talking about there's a lot of pyramid schemes going on. I mean, folks, think about it. Their country is a mess right now. They're using multiple currencies. So, of course, people are going to be trying to do get-rich-quick things. They talk about faith clubs, wealth generation funds, and Ponzi schemes. So they're having issues with that. I mean, on top of an already devastated economy and infrastructure, now they're having issues with pyramid schemes, and even the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe is mentioning this in their official report. Uh, continued use of multiple currencies um, and this is very important here consistent with government's position as clearly articulated in the 2014 national budget the country will continue with the use of multiple currencies okay that's a statement right there from the bank of Zimbabwe from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe saying we're going to continue to use different currencies and it said they should put to rest the widespread speculation surrounding the subject some of you folks have been listening to different calls different dinar gurus I'm not going to mention names because I don't do that anymore okay I do I will just say this if the dinar gurus are not telling you about the multiple currencies then they're not telling the whole truth I'm not out to make money, folks. I'm just out to inform. That's the whole reason I, I created GlobalCurrencyReset.net was because I heard about this term. I couldn't find a lot of information about it, so I decided to do my own research. And this is what I found, is that many people are getting involved with the Zimbabwe dollar on this false idea that the country's currency is going to be revalued. But once again, I bring to your attention the fact that the country will continue with the use of multiple currencies. Okay, so now you have an official statement from the government saying we are not going to be using our currency. We're going to be using additional currencies. So it talks about trade and investment ties between countries like China, India, Japan, and Australia have grown appreciably. Okay, so that's a good sign. That means, okay, they're doing a little bit better. But please read this part right here. It says... In addition, the opening of accounts denominated in all these different currencies, you can also open accounts in Australian dollar, Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, and Japanese yen. You're going to hear a lot about the Chinese yuan because it's becoming a, a good bilateral, bilateral trade currency. Um, if the U.S. dollar collapses like I, I think it will in 2015, you will hear about the Chinese currency. I don't believe they're going to actually have their currency backed by gold until maybe 2020. They are producing a lot, but I do not believe Chinese will the Chinese currency will be completely gold backed until around 2019-2020, and I have reasons for that. Okay, I want you guys to know that I have this book. It's a really amazing book, and um, I will provide a link to it so you guys can check it out. There's actually a free download available on the Global Currency Reset website. So I want you to look for this. And as we were speaking about earlier about China and their currency, I'm going to go ahead and go to page 240 of this book. Oh, I just skipped it. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we have all these different pages in the book, and you can see this book has a lot of detailed information. 
this chapter here, the big reset, I actually provide that chapter on my website for free. So you guys can download this chapter, and if you like the book, definitely download it. But there's a part on here um, about China and uh, what they're planning on doing with their currency. And it talks about what currency could become the world reserve currency. It mentions will SDRs become the new world currency. And it, it had a mention about if China is planning on backing their currency. Now, um, it's just very important that everybody realizes what China is actually trying to do. And China is actually planning, you know, they've desired it. Read this right here. October 2013, the state news agency, and I think that's pronounced uh, Xinhua, uh, distributed a commentary saying that they need to de-Americanize the world. So there's a link down here. This this book is awesome because everything is completely documented. So you don't have to worry that you're just getting some you know information that's not true, and it'll actually link directly back to the website where the statement was made. Here it is right here. You, you can see this is in Chinese right here. A decentralized, I'm sorry, de-Americanized world. And so this is Beijing, October 13th. And it talks about how they just, they just want to get rid of the U.S. dollar. They don't think that, you know, we in the United States should have the world reserve currency. Um, so this is right here. So this is from China. This is an official statement from their news agency. So I think you guys should pay attention to this. The book is just loaded with, with different facts like this. And as you're going through the book, you can just find what the Russians think. Um, it could could the U.S. confiscate gold reserves? And there's links to everything on here. If you have the ebook, you can just click it. It's an awesome PDF. Everything is well documented. Um, so I encourage you guys to get the big reset. Get it from the website, um, Global Currency Reset. I actually have a link so you guys can get a discount on that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go back to Zimbabwe because we were talking about Zimbabwe. Um, and we were talking about their use of multiple currencies. And it's it, we had been talking about how trade was getting better with those countries. And they were talking about um, that, that they advise using these currencies. And here's an important statement, 158, where it says, The Reserve Bank, meaning the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, stands ready to play its role. They're not doing anything right now, so they're not playing a role. So their, their statement here is, Okay, we're ready to do something, ready to do something. Let us know when you want us to be your bank again. But um, unfortunately, the people have decided that they don't want to use the, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. They've been lied to too many times, so they're not planning on doing anything further with them. All right, folks, hopefully I was able to help you out, and you can check the article out for some more information. Um, going back to what we were saying about the Big Reset book, uh, the link is going to be right here where it says free PDF download about the global currency reset. So just click that, and here's the website. So um, when you're on this page, the Big Reset download free, you'll see that there's a link right here where you can download the PDF you were just looking at. Okay? And it's got the chapter all about the global currency reset. So you see all the different chapters, but you're just going to have access to this one right here, the big reset. So I encourage you guys to read this book. It's 47 pages. It's got a lot of great information. And um, there's a link to purchase it. So um, when you get to the end of the book, just, just click the link, and you can buy it from Amazon.com. Okay? All right. Well, I hope I was able to help you guys out with that. Once again, just if you have the Zimbabwe dollar, don't expect it to revalue. And as I say on the site, if you're looking for Zimbabwe dollar to USD chart, unfortunately, I don't have one because they're not using the Zimbabwe dollar anymore. And some final notes that I put in here, um, it's just about how you guys really just need to be careful and do your research just like I have. If you really want to do like I'm doing, you can actually highlight key phrases in my article and just go to search Google and it's going to bring up uh, the PDFs of whatever text that you highlighted. As you can see in the search bar, there's the text that we just highlighted. 
So this is the way you guys can cross-reference -ref what I'm saying to show that I am telling you the truth, that I don't want you guys to get hurt. I don't want you to get involved with the Zimbabwe dollar. Okay? Thanks very much, folks. Please comment below. Give it a thumbs up if this was able to help you out. And please comment below, and I'll be glad to respond. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.